Hi, you're watching Jeff's Musical Car in Moncton, and this week I have a returning guest, John Gogo. So, so thanks for coming along. Thank you for having me again. This is fantastic. So it's been a while since you've been on the uh, East Coast. How have your journeys been uh, getting here and maybe some stuff that I've missed out on in the last few years? Uh, well, you didn't miss out on a lot, a lot, of course, as we were like locked down there for quite mm. a while. But uh, coming out again has been fantastic. and. Uh, we just love it out here. Um, we look forward to coming back often. Yeah. So tell me a bit about your uh, your latest endeavors in music. What do you have on the go? Well, I've just recorded a, a new album, um, and it's uh, I believe I'm going to be calling it Western Balladeer. Okay. And uh, it's a continuation of what I've been into for my pretty much my whole my whole career with in terms of uh, historical stuff and uh, West Coast lore. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. I guess uh, that you're gonna play a track off that. Yes, I am. Um, as a matter of fact, though, um, when I came out here last time, uh, which was my first time, um, I met a uh, my wife Sarah and I met a fella in uh, Riverport. I was very interested in trying to meet locals. To um, I was kind of on a mission actually, because um, as I mentioned last time, I'm from a coal mining family uh, on the west coast, and and I wanted to find out what. Um, what, what people in the Maritimes knew about um, West Coast coal mining because we have quite a his long history of it with a couple of my great-grandfathers being coal miners and uh, I found out um, folks out here know very little about our history in coal mining and okay. uh, then that's when I realized it's the songs that um, t uh, carry the stories across the country so um, this fellow his name was Larry and he told me a really lovely story about his granddad and um, as he was telling the story I was thinking this would make a, a really good song yeah, yeah. Um, it's just a lovely little story so I hope it's a I hope it's a good song and uh, it's called Larry's granddad all right trust your instincts follow your heart. Play the cards you're handed, that's the way I look at life. My friend Larry's granddad mined for coal from the tender age of six. Well, his stepfather swore he could teach this new dog old tricks in the days before unions. And decent labor laws Young boys work the coal mines too That's just the way it was His mom, well she was not unkind Still she had to let him work This man she was married to He'd become a mean old jerk Of course granddad dearly loved her So by the time the boy was nine He was a full-fledged three-year veteran of a Nova Scotia mine. With just his shovel and pick, Granddad became the main breadwinner. They sent him off six days a week, packing a bucket with some dinner. Sunday school, that's all he had, as far as formal learning. And he duly handed to his mom every penny he was earning. Trust your instincts for your heart. Play the cards you're handed, that's the way I look at life, so does Larry's granddad. In a nutshell, that was granddad's life till the boy turned 17, when one Sunday he met Edna Wood, most beautiful girl he'd seen. He went straight up, introduced himself, had to take a chance not just pretty she was smart and kind he asked her to the dance and the night he asked politely mom can i get new sunday best a new suit like stepfather bought from the tailor with a vest mom answered absolutely not but i might sew you some pants granddad said no thank you kept his paycheck for the dance.
45 years have come and gone, he's retired from the mine. His back is wrecked, both knees are shot, but everything else works fine. Well, he's kind of hard of hearing, and his breathing's not so good. Still, all is right on Saturday night at the dance with Edna Wood. Trust your instincts for your heart, play the cards your hand did. That's the way I look at life, so does Larry's granddad. Trust your instincts, follow your heart, play the cards your hand did. That's the way I look at life, so does Larry's granddad. Awesome. John Gogo, the storyteller.